Hi, my name's Gina Parks from the British Academy of Floral Art, and this is one of the BFA Sustainable Films. So the um, product I'm going to show you today is the fibre floral in the bio base. This is, the, this is biodegradable base. The uh, fibre floral has to go into the landfill, but they cleverly make it so that it comes out very easily and then can be disposed of into the landfill. So this is going to, we're going to make a wreath with this and we're going to explore the fibre and then we're going to look at how long it lasts. So we're going to do a little sort of um, film and a little photograph every few days just to see how it's, how it's holding for you. Now buying this one is quite expensive. There is an alternative. You can actually buy the frame like this and we can put a block of the fibre into this frame. Uh, this costs about a quarter of the price of buying the complete wreath. But obviously there's a time issue with making this up. So the way we do that is we cut our block down into smaller pieces. So literally that's a piece of the block and then I'd cut it in half again. I'm going to cut it into smaller sections and then we can put those into the wreath. Now I just want to show you this because the interesting thing about this product is it holds an awful lot of water. So if we pop that into the, uh, see how quickly it sinks. So it takes m seconds to completely sink. But that, you can't really tell, but that is very heavy of water. That's an awful lot of water in there. So this is a really good product if this uh, wreath is going to go outside in the summer and you need, you've got flower material in there that needs a lot of water in the base because it will give them a lot of uh, water to be able to keep them nice and hydrated. So basically what I've done is a bit of a blue peter. I've just cut up, that's one block, one block cut into smaller pieces. And I've just cut off the corners on the outside. So I've literally just taken off the corners to curve it. And then when you fit it in, you just take off the two outside corners and also just cut this piece in a little bit here. And then when you put the next one in, that will sit then next door to each other. So it sits really nice and tight together. So if I just pop these in, okay, so that's into the frame. And then I'm just going to use some string to tie it on. Just need to be aware that um, the string, if it's got a colour in it, how that's going to affect it being wet. If it's not, uh, if the dye isn't set, it can lead to colour, the dye leaking onto the surface. I mean, for this, it's probably just going to go into a funeral director, so it's not a problem. But if this was going onto a table somewhere, you just need to think about what type of wool or twine you use or, or string. So I'm just going to tie it on. And then I'm literally going to wind it around just to make sure that each of these blocks has got a little bit of the string going across the top of it nice and firmly. So it's nice and quick. Uh, if you've got sort of fairly hefty flowers, you could go around a few more times just so that you can make a little bit more of a structure with the wool or the string. So you could just bind it a little bit, maybe twice, instead of once where I've gone once, you put an extra little binding in in between and it will just give a little bit more strength and a bit more structure to heavier stems. But I've got light summer flowers, so they're going to be fine in that. So then I'm going to pour some water onto that and then I'm going to make a wreath. So here is the completed wreath. So I've just done a nice little summer design there with nice little wild looking flowers. And it's worked really well. So I used Julie's train of thought there um, when I was putting the flower material into the um, fibre floral is to put the flower material in first and then add a little bit of foliage afterwards. And that seems to hold the, the fibre floral a little bit more, uh, give, give it a little bit more strength. So it holds the flowers a little bit more firmly you don't need as much foliage then either, which was interesting. The other thing that's been interesting while I've been working with this is actually because the uh, fibre floral is very, very wet, holds a lot of water, this base is actually quite, um, feels quite sort of soggy already. Um, so I don't think, I think, you know, this wouldn't last a huge amount of days. So maybe not for a table arrangement. We have done one as a planted table arrangement and that was absolutely fine. I think it's just because the floral fibre is sitting directly onto the base and it's so wet and you can't part soak it, soak it, it is soaked or not. So I think this should hold up really well. I'm going to do a little photo tomorrow to see what's happening to it and follow its journey. But I think it looks really pretty and I think that's worked really well.